Blessed be everybody and welcome to another episode of Witch Please. It is I, Odin Seer, coming at you again with another episode of DIY Witch. And today we are going to be making black mirrors. Now, for those of you who do not know what a black mirror is, a black mirror is a reflection. And it allows you to be able to connect into your soul, into the divinity that is within, to be able to bring the unknown to the surface. It is very important to have a black mirror on your altar because it brings in first matter or the God particle that is outside of time, outside of space, but is the fibers that keep the whole universe together. So we want to have a black mirror on our altar. We want it to be able to see into our soul. We want it to be life's reflection. The Buddhists look into mirrors to be able to see the reflection, to be able to see clearly. And us Wiccans do the same thing with our black mirrors. We understand that the soul is in darkness. It doesn't mean that the soul is dark. It just means that there's many things that are unknown to the soul. And to develop the soul, we need to be able to bring those into the light. And I personally can't see a better way of doing that <laughs> than using your dark mirror. I have even made elemental mirrors that have been wonderful to be able to contact the elemental beings, elemental dragons, and even the archangels of those elements. So making your own mirror is such a powerful way of being able to connect with the element, to be able to connect with the angels, the dragons. Some of you who are interested in black mirrors, let's get started. So what you're going to need is you are going to need black paint. That's it, y'all. It's black. Oh, look, I just painted up my hands. You are going to need a paintbrush, black salt, and we will put the link here on how to make your own black salt, a picture frame, just a standard picture frame that you can get at the Poundland or the Dollar Store or what have you, an incense burner, and of course my little charcoal is right here as well. And you're going to need some sort of spiritual incense. This is Basilica resin. Now for spiritual incense, you can make the, you can use our Archangelic Cafe incense. You can use Cafe incense. You can use sage. You can use frankincense. You can use myrrh. You can use mastic, Palo Santo. You name it, you can use it. All right, so let's start off burning our incense. So all this is smoking, and it's actually quite great because what I have, what I was burning last time was the resins or the rest of my Archangelic Cafe incense. So that's all burning as well, so that's, to me, that's a good sign. Now I'm going to add some of my Basilica resin onto here. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we are going to do our offering. And we do this offering to be able to, one, send our prayers up to notify the spirits that will be assisting us today in the creation of this black mirror. I offer this Basilica resin to my ancestors, guides, angels, archangels, spirit guides, and all blessed beings who wish to assist in the creation of this magical item. We ask that you imbue it with your power, that all that is seen within this mirror is accurate. All that is known within this mirror is felt, dealt, is felt deeply within our hearts and our souls. We ask that you guide us and allow this mirror to be a portal to this guidance. I ask this in the name of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Amen. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move this incense over, and we're, I'm going to keep on adding a little bit at a time. And I do have some candles burning in the background, everybody, just so you know, because I always like to have my candles burning when I am calling in spirit. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to open up this bad boy, and it's just a standard frame that you would get I said, in dollar stores or anything like that, and you pull off the back, and you take out the little piece of paper. Now, don't throw this paper away, because I end up actually using this paper in the end. And then you're going to take your mirror out. So you took your glass out, and now 
you have what is going to be your black mirror. So now what I do, everybody, is I take my Florida water and I just mist over this mirror. So if you click on the link below, you'll be able to find out how to make this Florida water. It's great for cleansing, it's great for connecting with your ancestors, it's great for removing any negative energies, blocks, any psychic attachments. You will learn all about this if you just click that link below and watch my video on how to make your own Florida water. Now the reason why I spray this mirror is because I want to be able to cleanse it of any negative vibrations that it may have. And I also want to ensure that I bring in that magical essence. Florida water is a very powerful thing. And when you bring in that magical essence and you cleanse with it, I find that the portal and the channel becomes stronger when you are receiving information or even contacting deity. So then what I do is I take a nice little piece of paper, toilet paper here, nothing spectacular, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, now I am facing east, okay? So I'm going to be moving from east to west, okay? The same way that the sun goes. So what I do is, and I always situate myself so that when I do this, I am pulling this energy towards me, okay? I'm bringing it in towards me, in towards me, okay? So this is what you kind of want to do. You want to bring it in towards you. Because remember, this is your own personal black mirror. And you want this mirror to be able to be a reflection of you. And you want it to be able to help take you to where you want to go, where you need to go from a soul level as well in the evolution of your craft. I also wanted to let you know it's very important. Face east when you're doing this, okay? Because you're doing two things. You're, you're going from the way the sun rises and sun sets, okay? So you're going from east to west, sunrise to sunset. But you're also bringing it, bringing it in towards you. You're calling that energy in towards you. So always face east when you are doing this, okay? So then what you're going to do is we're going to flip it towards us again. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. From east to west. Okay, so then what we do again is we flip it over one more again. And this side should be dry now. So now what we're going to do, this is going to be the side that we are going to be painting black, okay? So I have already empowered this salt for the purpose that we're going to be using today. What I want you to understand here is that when I have empowered this, I also made sure that it was protective, okay? You don't want anything negative or baneful coming in through your black mirror and messing up your stuff, okay? So you want to make sure that you are very adamant about protection. So what I do now to also add that protection is I will do two things, okay? The first thing I do is I will take my black salt, okay, and I will create an equal armed cross down the middle of it. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing this equal armed cross is because you want to be able to ensure that there is a protective barrier, okay? So I've created my equal armed cross. Now what I do over the cross is I will, in essence, I am making a pentacle. Okay? So if you see that, so I have an equal dawn cross, and I also have a pentacle as well. So I'm using two different traditions to be able to bless and empower my magical mirror. Now what I do, and the final part is that I do a clockwise spiral. Right? You want to make sure that you get this whole bad boy filled with your black salt. little dab in the middle here to emphasize the focal point. So now that I have this done, what I'm going to do is I am going to sit, close my eyes, and I am going to just be at peace 
and focus for 13 heartbeats. So that's 13 seconds. Now another thing that you can do, for those of you who have a certain spiritual belief structure that you feel you want to incorporate into this, what I recommend doing is if, it, if you know, you can say a mantra for 13 heartbeats, you can, you know, say an affirmation for 13 heartbeats. Really, you're only limited to what you can think about and what you can bring to the table here. Now, I put the pentacle and I put the equal arm across simply because of the fact that those are the ones that I identify with. I have also done the Star of David. I have done many different religious symbols on this, and you can feel free to put whatever religious symbol that you feel you want to put on this in the black salt for your black mirror. So now that you've done that, you just want to take your mirror, and again, we're always going to turn it in towards us, okay? And you're going to... Okay? So you just want to empty it off like this. So I just put my mirror back down here. And I'm going to continue with my black salt here and get this out of the way. Because you don't want to have black salt chunks in your mirror. Now I will be discarding of the black salt later. But I am in the process of a ritual. And I do not want to be running off to discard of black salt at this point in time. But I want to be keeping my focus and my intent pure on the creation of a powerful black mirror. As I said, y'all, this is a very, very easy process. You want to take your paintbrush and your black paint, okay? And you just want to start painting. Now, again, I'm going to go from east to west, and I'm calling that energy that first matter into me. Okay? I'm calling in that God particle into this black mirror so that all information that is given, all knowledge is available. It can be accessed. Deities of your choosing, spirit guides, ancestors, what have you. This is a clean portal for them to be able to connect with you. And it's also a clean portal for you to be able to connect with yourself. So now all you have to do is you have to wait for this to dry for about 15 minutes. What I normally do during this time is I will either meditate or I will pray. So I am going to log off now and I will come back in about 15 minutes to do my second coat. So now you can actually see that it's dry. And if I take a piece of paper and I just go over it, you'll see that there is no dark or black stain. So you just want to run yourself again from east to west. You just want to run the paper down just to get rid of any debris that might have been on here. Now, what I also did to speed up the process is I just took, put a home fan over it and let it uh, let it completely dry. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our second coat. I'm going to try and have to try and do this with my son. And again, I washed the paintbrush, and you're going to go again from east. West. Now, the thing is, the second coat, you want to be a little bit quicker with it, simply because you don't want it to moisten up what you've already did and start to peel. So you just want to be able to get over that bad boy really quickly. And there you have it. And that is your second coat. So what you do now is I would normally do another meditation or prayer for another 15 minutes. Now again, people, you don't need to do this if you just want to make it quickly. As long as you put that energy into your black mirror at any point in time, the more time and more energy 
you put with it, the more powerful the black mirror is going to be. But I have, I have my son right now and he wants to play, so I'm going to turn the fan on this, let this dry out completely, and I'm going to spend some quality time with my little guy. And you know what? I couldn't think of a better place and a better thing to do than to spend time with my son when he is my heart and he is my soul when I'm making a black mirror and connecting to my ancestral and the future to come through my son. Okay, everybody. So it's been about another 25 to 30 minutes. And as you can see, I had the fan over this and it's all nice and dry. Now, I did try and pick away some of the edges around because you do have some overlapping paint. So I did do that. I want you to know if you mess up the edges a little bit, don't worry about it because the frame will hold that and will hide it. Um, so don't be so concerned about that, okay? So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your new black mirror and you are going to just slide it right into the frame like that. Now you want to put the non-painted side to be the one that's going to be out because that's going to be the glossiest part of it, okay? And you really want to be able to get that reflection. So remember, the painted side goes on the back of your magic mirror. Now, you remember I said that I was going to take the piece of paper that came with the frame? I always put that in the back here. Um, now, I do that for two reasons. The first reason is I just like to have it in the back because then I'm able to see if I actually was able to coat the full um, mirror. And the other reason why is because I don't want if there's any little nubs or anything like this in here. I don't want it scratching my black mirror because I would be upset. Okay, so then you go ahead and you put the back of the mirror on. You just push that right in and adhesive it so it's nice and tight. Okay, so you just want to put that in there like that and there you have it. Now if you take a look, <gasps> and there you have it everybody. There is your black mirror and it was all for under 5 euro. And when I lived in North America, it was also under $5. I paid two euro for the frame, I paid one euro ninety nine for the black acrylic paint, and I paid about sixty nine cents for the paintbrush. All right, so we're still not done yet, okay? We have the final part of blessing your black mirror. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the last part, and what I do is I take my incense same one that I was using. I was using Basilica Resin because it's a very good purificatory incense. And all you want to do now is you just want to basically get this smoke, okay, all over your mirror. So here's a little chant that you can use to be able to bless your mirror. Dark as night, yet clear as sight. Bring what is in shadows, now into the light. A portal you are, a portal you shall be. Protected from all evils and dark entity. Heed these words through space and through time. A blessing now cast with this simple rhyme. And it be so. And there you have it. Your black mirror for under five euro or five dollars. And just as good, if not more powerful, than the ones that you would spend an arm and a leg for. Now that chant that I gave you was a chant that I've been using for a long time and I want to share it with you. And I'm also going to share the chant that I say every single time when I am about to use my black mirror. It's the same as the one that I just gave you, but there's just a, a line in it that has changed. Um, and I say this when I'm getting into a meditative state and I'm looking into my mirror. Dark as night, yet clear as sight. Bring what is in shadows, now into light. A portal you are, 
a portal you shall be. Protect me from all evil and dark entity. Heed my words through space and through time and bring that is in shadows to the front of my mind. So mote it be. All right, there you have it, everybody. And that is your black mirror. You have the way to be able to prepare it and you know how to bless it as well as the chat to be able to use while working with it. I hope you like this video, everybody. Please don't forget to press subscribe. Join us. Don't miss out on a thing. You can follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, as well as Facebook. And you can always check out our website at hocusandfocus.com. It is always a pleasure doing these videos for you, everybody. I love being able to show witches how to be able to get the magical arsenal that you need at a fraction of the price. If there is anything that you guys would like to see, please feel free, let me know. I am thinking about making some elemental salts. I showed you how to do the black salt, and I'm thinking about showing you guys now how to do elemental salts, just to be able to bring that, your game up just a little bit. All right, everybody, as I said, it's a pleasure having you in my life. It's a pleasure having you in my magic, and you are always in my heart. And I will see you on the next episode of DIY Witch. <laughs> see you next time, boo-boos. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>